What happens if I overstay my visa? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. The short answer is nothing good. Nothing good happens when you overstay your visa. Now, we had a lot of people ask us, especially during the COVID outbreak, about overstaying their visas. Some people liked to file an I-539 to try to extend those visas. Some people just stayed extra long. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through what happens when you overstay your visa. And the important thing to think about is USCIS, the State Department, Customs and Border Patrol, what they wanna know is how long did you overstay? And there's sort of three uh, time areas that are relevant here, three time periods that are important in thinking about your overstay. So let me tell you what, what the three groups are and then I'll walk you through what happens in each of those scenarios. So if you overstay your visa by one day or five months and 29 days, so in other words, under six months, if you overstay your visa by under six months, then you're going to probably be okay. Now, when I say probably okay, it depends uh, on future activity. In other words, you might have problems, um, you might have problems dealing with getting a visa renewed. If you had a, a one-time entry visa and you overstayed in that under six month period, so between one day and six months, if you overstayed for that, they might not give you another visa. Uh, obviously, Corona would be a good a, a reason why somebody overstayed, but at the end of the day, you'd be going back to the embassy asking for a new visa, and they would say, hey, look, sir or madam, you did not uh, leave when you were supposed to. Why should we give you another visa? We don't trust you. We're not going to give you another visa. Or if you have a multiple entry visa and you overstayed on your last trip for less than six months, then you would have a situation where um, Customs and Border Patrol might not let you back in the next time. So that's the first group. The first group are those people who stayed less than, overstayed less than six months. Then we have the people who overstayed between six months and under a year. Now for those people, they're going to have what's called a three-year bar. A three-year bar, which means they're not going to be allowed entry into the United States for three years from the date of their last exit. So let's say that somebody comes to the United States, they have six months on their visa, they uh, overstay for seven months, so now they're in that six month to one year period that they've overstayed. They overstayed in that period by a month. Now, if they try to re-enter the United States on their next visit, they're going to be banned, turned back, prohibited from entering the United States, and they won't be able to come back for three years. Now, it's also gonna be important in those scenarios and in the 10-year ban to document when you actually left the United States and when you went back to your home country because you're gonna to have to show that you did your time, sort of like jail time, outside the United States. And sometimes people have a hard time proving when they left the United States. So as strange as it sounds, if you've overstayed and you're leaving, uh, then you're going to wanna to demonstrate when you left the United States. So you'll have to prove that up, probably with plane tickets or other uh, entries into other countries so that you can demonstrate that you were no longer in the United States on such and such a day, because it's gonna be your burden to prove. And then of course, We'll talk about the people who overstayed by one year. Now, these people have a 10-year bar. So, same scenario. You come to the United States on a visit visa or a student visa, your legal time in the United States ends and you overstay by more than one year, then you're going to have a 10-year bar. Now, lots of things to think about. These bars can be overcome. There are certain exceptions and waivers that are available, and we talk about those in other videos. So. If you are related to a U.S. citizen, let's say, and it's gonna produce an extreme and exceptional hardship for you to be separated and you to be not allowed back into the United States, then that's one scenario where you might be able to obtain a non uh, a waiver of your 10-year uh, bar. Um, the thing is, you need to talk to an immigration attorney before you leave the United States. So we talk to people all the time who either entered without inspection and never went back or entered with inspection and never went back. And you really need to be careful here because there's a lot of bad information on the internet and every situation is different. So we need to look at how did you enter? How long have you overstayed? What did you do during your overstay? And what bars might you have if you leave the United States? Do you have the three-year bar? Do you have the 10-year bar? Or do you have some other kind of bar? 
Uh, you might have a permanent bar if you'd entered without inspection on several occasions, those kinds of things. So if you find yourself in a scenario where you've overstayed your visa, I would strongly suggest that before you leave the United States that you talk to an immigration lawyer. We've seen scenarios where people could have obtained relief, didn't know that they could obtain relief. So for instance, let's say that someone was in the United States and they had overstayed their visa. They were married to a U.S. citizen, but they thought, oh, well, I better leave and go consular process. They might find themselves with a 10-year bar if the overstay has been more than a year. So it's a tricky situation. It needs some analysis and you probably shouldn't try to figure it out on your own because it's confusing for me and it's confusing for everybody that works on these things. You have to really dig in deep and look at the timeline and look at the facts. If you have questions about this, give us a call, 314-961-8200. Email us, info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that you join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays live in our Immigration Answer Show, usually at noon central. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.